mein Untersuchungsgebiet. The area I study is in the southern Gulf of Mexico. In the year 2003, huge amounts of asphalt were discovered there for the first time, at depths of 3,000 meters below sea level. And organisms were found that live on and around the asphalt. For us, this is a new kind of habitat that we want to explore more closely. We were on board the Meteor and we had the remotely operated underwater vehicle Quest with us. This diving robot is equipped with a camera and with gripping arms that enabled us to collect samples directly from down there. This is an instrument that can be used to suck up animals or loose objects. We collected sea cucumbers and crabs and mollusks. And with the gripping arm, we were able to break off chunks of the asphalt. I simply find it fascinating to be on the research ship and to be there when these underwater images are being made. It gives me goosebumps. It's a wonderful feeling. For me, it was unexpected to find such a wealth of life on this asphalt. You'd normally imagine that this oily mass wouldn't support life. So to find sea cucumbers living on these asphalts and crabs wandering around, that was a big surprise for me. The Gulf of Mexico is known for its large petroleum deposits. That's what we call asphalt. That's oil that seeps out slowly, and as it emerges, it loses the lighter components and stays down there. The lighter oil has a lower density, which is why it floats on the surface of the water. And then there's the heavy oil, which contains substances that give it a higher density so it remains on the sea floor. What interests me personally is the composition of these asphalts. Some of them were collected by the diving robot. We got some other samples using what's called a gravity corer. You can imagine it's a kind of cylinder that's rammed into the sea floor. An interesting thing is that we found you can cut it with a knife and it's like cutting butter. It's a highly viscous mass. When you separate the oil, you can identify the different fractions by their color. What I still really want to do is go down once in a manned submarine. Being down there knowing that there are several kilometers of water over your head. It's hard to imagine if you've never experienced it.